Um, we're on day 24 of my tech challenge and today I've made scroll marks which is a Chrome extension where if you go and right click on a web page at a scrolled position and click add scroll mark and then go to your scroll marks extension click go it'll open the tab and take you to where you're scrolled to so I'll take you through the tech of that now so this is the manifest.json it's a ref Required file for all Chrome extensions. Um, it's got name, which is the name of your extension, description of your extension, and the version, which is the release number. Then there's the manifest version, which is uh, specified by Google Chrome and free is the most recent. I've got a background service worker that does. Um, work around um, adding to the context menu. I've got content scripts that execute on the pages. Um, I've got I've got this um, pop-up that shows the scroll marks and I've got these permissions. So storage is so that I can store what store the scroll marks I've created. Tabs is so that I can create a new scroll mark. A uh, new tab once I click on a scroll mark. Context menu is so I can create that add scroll mark menu item. And scripting is so that I can scroll to the correct position on the page. I want this on all URLs, so I've requested that. And this is my icon here. So if I go to my background JS, um, when it's installed for the first time, I want to create the context menu. I only want to do it when it's installed for the first time because you can only add the menu item once. Um, then when the context menu is clicked, I want to add a listener. And if it's the add scroll mark item that I've defined here by this ID, then I want to find the active tab and send it a message to say that the scroll mark is clicked. So then that will go through to this content JS and it's listening and if the request type is add scroll mark clicked then it'll get the X and Y scroll location and create a new scroll mark in the storage. So that's basically the creation of scroll marks. Um, if I'm in, if I'm wanting to click on a scroll mark and go through, I've got this HTML which basically defines my little pop-up window for the extension, and it's got this empty div, and in the pop-up JS, I um get the scroll marks from the storage and for each of the scroll marks I add them, I create a new um, div and give it a class which is scroll mark item um, I create some other HTML nodes, so a no text node and a button um, when the go button is clicked I want to send this message that the scroll mark was clicked um, and when the delete button is clicked I want to go through and delete the scroll mark from my um, storage and remove it from remove the scroll mark node from the parent scroll mark list so here's me just adding my new elements to the pop-up HTML and so when the scroll mark clicked is triggered so when we click on go it's handled here so we added, added another listener to listen to um, messages and when the request type is scroll mark clicked it'll go and create a new tab Um, and with that created tab, when it's updated, it'll check whether the tab ID 
is equal to the one we just created and check whether it's completely loaded in which case I'll remove the listener because we only need to do one action on it and it'll execute the script so it, it wants to execute the script on this target which is the tab ID and I want to pass in some data to the um, script they want to e execute which is basically the scroll location data and then I have this function that executes when um, when the um, when this is triggered and it scrolls to the certain location that you've bookmarked. So it's pretty much all I've done for today and it's all available on GitHub so take a look. It's also going to be available on the Google Chrome extension store soon.